The black hole in Interstellar was so scientifically accurate that it broke computers. It took 24,000 hours to render just 10 seconds of animation for the movie. If you tried that on your own computer, it would have taken almost eight years. When Christopher Nolan set out to make the film, he knew he didn't want the sci-fi effect. He wanted a black hole that looked the way it really would if you were standing in front of it. So he brought in Nobel Prize winning physicist Kip Thorne, one of the leading experts on relativity and black holes. Together they plugged Einstein's actual equations into Hollywood's rendering software. Software. And what came out wasn't just movie magic, it was the most accurate black hole simulation ever created. The swirling halo you see isn't just for show. It's light itself, bending and wrapping around the hole's gravity, so you can actually see the back of your own head at the same time as the front. The work was so groundbreaking, scientists actually published research papers on the new visualization techniques they developed. Just years later, the Event Horizon Telescope captured the first real physical photo of a black hole and many people compared it to interstellar.